hundreds of people from Kentucky, Indiana, and Michigan attended a testimony service on the campus of Asbury College in Wilmore. Tonight, people from across Kentucky and neighboring states are coming to Asbury University to pray and join in an unplanned revival. So we were up late, late, late. We slept maybe, what, three, four hours, maybe? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And we sent the boys to stand in line. Shabbat shalom. We stayed behind and prayed and drank coffee. And we're just about there, and we're going to find our boys. I shouldn't call them boys. They are young, anointed men. <laughs> we're going to find our boys, <laughs> and we're going to look at these lines. Is this parking? I think it might be. Oh my goodness, I can't possibly be parking. Could it? All right, we're hoofing it. You gotta hoof it. She doesn't hoof. Actually, she's a New Yorker. Yeah. She walks fast. Hoofing is natural. I wonder if you Let's can turn this way. way. <laughs> Shava. Let's go. And the Spirit of God moved in the hearts of his people at Asbury College. This was a deep, unsettling movement which caused many children of God to seek his face anew, to ask, and to wait for revival. for the fire that he carries, God. We thank you for the call upon his life, God. And the Lord would say to you, I brought you here for an encounter, but not just any kind of encounter, says the Lord. This is an encounter for the generations. For the Lord says, I've called you to raise up the hungry ones and to put on fire those who are lukewarm, those who don't know me. The Lord says, I have called you to be a fire starter. Put your hand on his belly. And pray that fire into him. Come on, come on, put your hand on it. Come on, George. Impart that Ahab fire. A long line. A student said in his heart, I will always remember this day. How wonderful for God to give us just one day to be filled with his presence and love, to treasure through all our lives. That student was mortal. He saw through a glass darkly, for that day was just the beginning of many days and weeks and months of God's Spirit moving among us. He moved some to give verbal witness to what God was doing in their hearts. He moved others to prostrate themselves at the altar of prayer. He moved some to seek the company of fellow believers they had sinned against. Confessions, forgiveness, embracing, rejoicing, we watched in wonder as God worked. We could not eat, we could not sleep. We had no need of food or rest. For through those hours came heavenly showers. God sent his spirit as our guest. The king is coming. So as you can see, there's fire all over this campus. There's glory all over this campus. There's children all over this campus who almost ran right into me. Jeez. They're dogs. Revival for everyone.
wonder now if we might ask God to make us hungry and thirsty for him. God says he'll be found if we seek him, but where does the impetus to seek him come from? Where does hunger for God come from but from God himself? We're here tonight not because we've been so faithful to him, but because he's been so faithful to us. And every step we've taken toward him has been prompted by him. Jesus said, you're blessed when you've worked up a good appetite for God. He's food and drink in the best meal you'll ever eat. So let's take a moment and ask God to stir up a deeper hunger in our hearts, a deeper thirst in our hearts for more and more of him.